Hey everybody, Marinus here and welcome to my review of Superman 216 from DC Comics. Um, this is a storyline that calls um, Lightning Strikes Twice and this is the third part. Um, this is the second part. And I uh, normally do, you know, talk about what's going on in, in, the, in the book, but I want to especially highlight in some some art and details because I'm a big fan of the, this artist called Ian Churchill and uh, yeah let's dive into so before we go um, well as you can see the writers Judd Winnick, Ian Churchill's The Pencils and Norm Ratman is the inks so the first page here shows there is a balance in the universe and and there's also a good and evil and the evil is uh, the spirit of vengeance called Eclipso, and on the good side we have the Spectre, although in my opinion the Spectre is not always a good guy. And, well, there, there is a balance here, And but Eclipso is getting a hold on Superman. He's possessed them and now he is going to battle. Um, well, I want to say Shazam, but I have to go back to this last page here. It says... Captain Marvel, yes. This is the original Captain Marvel, not that fake uh, female from Marvel, who is an insufferable person, although I like the male version of um, uh, Marvel's Captain Marvel. Uh, Marvel, I like that very much, but this iteration is, well, not so good, <laughs> to, say, to say it very uh, friendly. Anyway, um, so Superman is, is possessing... Um, uh, I'm sorry, Eclipse is uh, possessing Superman and he's battling Captain Marvel, also now nowadays as Shazam. And Captain Marvel, uh, well, basically, um, Eclipso wants to have a permanent vessel. And because of Captain Marvel here is a being of magic, he wants his body to possess to do whatever he wants. So they're battling it out, and the first thing I, I always highlight is when it comes to Ian Churchill's art, I really love his art. He is, he is um, I, normally I would say it, it, it resembles Ed Bennis, but it's not. It's more like Ed Bennis's big buff dudes, and Ian Churchill has more smaller, more lean, uh, but has way more detail. And I'm going to show you and I'll tell you about it. So... We see here uh, Eclipso uh, taking off in Superman's body and he is, you know, picking up this ship uh, because he wants to make um, Captain Marvel mad and on giving up his body because that is the trick. If people are getting mad, he can enter their body. And um, that is that is what he's trying to do. So speaking of detail, except for the beautiful water... We see here Captain Marvel moving so fast and he turns so fast here around the corner. Well, it's not a corner, but you know what I mean. Um, the cape is not, well, um, how do you say? Um, well, the cape is still in the opposite direction than where it came from. So I really like that. There's a lot of, so he tried to push his back. And then, um, skipping a few. Oh yeah, by the way, before I forget, um, speaking of... Um, evil guys. Um, Eclipso reminds me a little bit of Marvel's Dracula from the 70s, 80s, um, drawn by Gene Colan and Marv Wolfman. Why? Um, that Dracula is, is a very, not only an evil character, of course, but he is very vicious. He always insults his enemies and people in general, because that's who he is. He always sneers. And although Eclipso is not really that kind of person but he's very aggressive and always also also insults a lot of people for instance here um in the blink of even your eye i can be in the center of metropolis i will make a nuclear bomb seem merciful i will line the streets with the heads of children and wear the skins of their fathers on my back <laughs> i really love that that's that's why i love more dc comics than marvel it's more darker it's more i don't know "Quote unquote mature," um, and towards well for teens and 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 whatnot, and Marvel is more teens and children, in my humble opinion. Um, so I like DC comics uh, mar uh, characters way more than 
their marvels. Um, so what does um, Captain Marvel want to share this What does uh, Captain Marvel do? He goes in the air and calls on the, uh, the lightning bolt of Shazam, who is basically the, the wizard who gave them his powers. So when he said the words, there is a lightning bolt coming out of the sky, hits Captain Marvel, turning him to his alter ego, which is a little boy called Billy Batson. So in this case, Billy Batson summons, again, um, the, the, the lightning, it transforms into his uh, alter ego. He falls, but then Eclipso shouts, no, what are you doing? I'm gonna, not going to let that happen. And because he thinks, he's, um, you know, um, Billy Batson is going to commit suicide so that Eclipso cannot enter his body. But that, of course, that's a ruse because we see here Shazam and then this is happening. Very cool. And he does that over and over again, transforming to Billy Batson and to uh, Captain Marvel again. Hopefully we can um, eclipse us holding Superman. And then we come to the detail I spoke about earlier. So he see, we see here, he's, he's getting hit by the lightning bolt. And why is Superman being, you know, getting uh, bleeding or is on fire here a little bit? Detail. Uh, because Superman has made, um, some weaknesses, and one of them is magic, like uh, sh um, Captain Marvel is saying here. So he's doing it over and over again, and then we see a, um, a panel here that Superman speaks to Captain Marvel, said, Eclipse is too strong, I can't break it. You have to kill me. But at, at this point, I didn't know, because is this a ruse? of Eclipso, because if you kill someone or try to kill someone, maybe that is an also a doorway to enter his body. I'm not entirely sure. Of this is indeed Superman talking, you know, um, you know, repressing Eclipso's hold on him for a little while. So, okay, and then we go to back to the detail. We see him here in the flames, but then, mm, let me see, I'm skipping a few pages. Oh, yeah, here. So we see the smoke, we see the fire still on his costume, but also the burn marks on uh, on the costume as well. And that's what I like about Ian Churchill's uh, art. It is very detailed. It, he thinks um, how I can visualize everything that is in the book. I mean, if you get hit by a lightning bolt, hell yeah, you are on fire. Hell yeah, your clothes is getting ripped. Uh, so it's 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 great, and you see here uh, Eclipse of shouting, "Look at me! Your face, nature's rage. I'm a thousand hurricane hurricanes of man's dark heart." And then he's getting hit by another lightning bolt, and again we see here more ripped costume, and who uh, is shooting the lightning bolt? We see here the wizard Shazam, and then we see Superman getting attacked over and over again with the magical lightning, and. Here, still on fire, more ripped clothing, and also the beautiful lightning um, of lighting uh, of of the lightning. It's 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 great. But then we see that Eclipso cannot be stopped. He is too strong. So what does the wizard Shazam? He summons the only being that can, you know, can battle him, and that is, um, sorry, the Spectre. And Eclipso shouts, no, do not interfere, do not break this covenant. So there is some magical balance or uh, agreement here, uh, which is really cool. And then um, Ecl uh, Eclipso, what am I saying? Um, the Spectre, I believe he um, summons a Blackheart Diamond because the Blackheart, I'm saying that wrong, a Black Diamond can hold the evil that is Eclipso. And... And there are many black diamonds across the world, and every and everyone who touches the diamond is getting corrupted by a piece of Eclipso, you know, basically um, transforming into him or part of him, part of the evil. So um, Eclipso is getting in prison again, but the diamond is gone somehow, and we see the last shot here that we see here. He's in Arkham Asylum, 
and he's possessed Gene Loring. Who's Gene Loring? Gene Loring is um, a character that uh, was a, a primary the love interest of the Atom, the superhero, but he suffered a mental breakdown and is responsible for many deaths. Um, um, the, one of them is Sue Dipney, who was the wife of the elongated man. So there's a continuation about it on, with this book that I, I want to read as well. Uh, so basically, in my opinion, the, the book is, again, just like my last video, battling two, two giants. Well, not really giants, but two supermen. That's probably the better word. And I really love that, and especially Ian Chilcher's art. I mean, alone for the if, alone for the art, I think it's worth picking up. Yeah. Two fifty. <laughs> I have to say it over again, over and over, how cheap comics were in the day. So, uh, I, by the way, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of Ian Chilcher's art, and uh, and this comic, of course. Maybe you read it, maybe you don't. So let me know, and please subscribe, of course, like the video, and I see you. Uh, Next time.